<laughs> We've tried to shoot this like 10 times after between our new ring light and the camera and our tripod and the tripod yeah. issues we're finally here and we wanted to say welcome back to our channel i'm uh ray <laughs> this is felicia and uh we run an entrepreneur youtube channel that you're on right now this intro is very uh, weird very weird let's go so if you have been watching you have seen our last few videos over the course of maybe two or three months where we have decided that we want to invest our money um, somewhere else, kind of. He wants to invest our money back into our store to expand our business and I want to invest it in some type of property slash house for us. You know what we're talking about with our store? We run a grocery store. We ran it for about two and a half years now. We started from the ground up. Um, it has been profitable after about six months. And now we want to reinvest all that profit into something. Something. I was saying expand the store. Felicia was saying a piece of property. We found the perfect um, combination. Combination that will allow us to do both. So after all this time of debating, we have decided that we are going to be on the market for a duplex. Um, We've been working with a real estate agent who has sent us a few listings so far, so I'm hoping that we can go see them sometime this week. So now that the housing market is kind of coming back down a little bit, we decided it's the right time to get into this industry um, for our own personal investment and as well as something that could create a cash, uh, monthly cash flow for us. We've looked at many different duplexes now. Um, some were very cheap, some were very expensive. And I think Felicia found one that was kind of right in the middle. Yeah, so we found one that's really affordable. Um, of course, it needs some cosmetic work, which you can't bypass that, I think, nowadays. But each side has three bedrooms. Um, they're both two, both sides are two stories, so that's always three exciting. Three bedrooms on each side? Three bedrooms on each side. That's pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, each obviously has its own like driveway, things like that. And... It's just a really good deal. So our plan with this is to house hack. So we are going to actually live in one side of the duplex and rent out the other side. And I know a lot of people, you know, will probably say, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to be like a landlord? But it actually makes sense in our situation right now. Um, basically the rent that we will be collecting from the tenants next door will actually be used to pay the mortgage for the house. So we won't really have to pay anything except for like you know, your utilities and, you know, internet and all that other kind of stuff. So I personally like this method because it's a way that, you know, we get our own piece of property. Felicia's happy. We're not renters anymore. And we can still have an asset that creates a monthly income to help us pay for our living expenses as you. Yeah. Kind of and I know a lot of people will say like, oh, are you sure you want to live next to somebody? But it's actually no different than living in a condo. We have neighbors on one side of us, we have the elevator on the other, and then obviously someone upstairs. So we always hear some type of noise. They say that the best part of having a duplex is your renters next door, but the worst part of having a duplex is your renters next door. So we need to really take into that into consideration on who we have as a tenant and make sure they're a well, good fit, not only for um, a long-term tenancy, but something that some people that you know vibe well with us and uh, not that we're going to be hanging out with anybody. We just, you know, we're the type of people that, you know, we're not going to throw a crazy party and we expect the same from the other side. It's much like buying a single family home. You hope that you're going to, you know, have good neighbors, friendly neighbors. Um, so that's what our hope is too. The only difference is we actually get to pick who gets to live in our duplex. Um, obviously. They're a little bit closer. Yeah. And we might have to hear them a little bit more. But um, I think if we do things right, it's, it'll be a solid investment that will pay itself off um, at least, you know, at yeah. least until we live there. And then potentially we could rent out both sides and move into our own yeah. place when we're established a little bit better, possibly have um, a few Ray and Felicia's running around. Yeah, one day. You look surprised at that. <laughs> okay. One day. We're also going to get into the numbers a little bit later after we show you the property. Um, we'll get into what we think we can rent out the other side for. We'll get into how much the property costs. And uh, is there any other details about it? No, like it's it's a cute house. It's in a decent neighborhood, so. The backyard um, is also decent. Yeah, it's huge, the backyard. Um, 
it's not like a split yard so it's right now it's all like one just one backyard it, the which i think i would keep it as that i don't think i would put up a fence just depends who your tenants are I yeah guess. and if you end up renting both sides out people might want that division true we'll see we'll see in the future also it's a little bit closer to the store than where we're currently living so that is also a small benefit that helps out with your everyday commute Normally this is our day off. Uh, we work six days a week and on Mondays we shoot a video. A video should come out every single Monday for you guys just so you know our schedule. Um, yeah, there's really no days off in retail just to give you an a little bit of, of advice based on our store. There's no days off. It's a, it's a hustle, it's a grind, but it can pay off if you do it well and that's why we're investing our money into something else because we don't want all of our eggs in one basket in case one goes down we want to have something else to fall back on and this is the perfect time i think to be investing in some type of you know property um just with everything going on um we got kind of lucky with our business so yeah we have some uh, you know wiggle room wiggle room to kind of move our money in hopefully the right direction and this is kind of something that seems more sound than investing into another small business that we've also been looking at in this channel if you want to see other videos they're also on this channel about our cafe that we looked into a few times high risk investment another you know seven day a week job that we need to figure that out as well but this seems more like more passive more solid and something we can live on for a while i take you there so the next time we see you we'll be in front of the house so we are here in front of the house and I have to say the street is a little more busier than I thought it would be. I thought it was more of a quiet area. Um, I guess not, but that's okay. You can't. It's not on a busy, yeah. busy road, but it is still a lot of traffic. Like we usually, anytime we're looking at a new house, we scope out the neighborhood pretty good, which is what we're doing now. Um, I could tell you we've been here five minutes. How many cars would you say went at by? At least 40. Yeah, and it's a little bit busier than I'd like, um, especially that kind of hinders, you know, your ability to rent when areas are too busy, because um, some people really do find quiet streets more appealing. The good thing about it is um, both sides of the streets, all the houses have their own driveways, which is kind of nice, um, just because there's not going to be a lot of street parking. Um, some streets have like, you know, one side has driveways, one doesn't, so the street can become pretty crowded. Also, so, sorry? Oh. Oh, I was just gonna say, there's also three schools around in the vicinity, which is good to be able to rent to families. I can tell you're passionate about this one because... I love it. No, because usually the videos, I can't get a word, you can't get a word in, but this one, I can't get a word in, so I think you might have found your calling. Maybe. I'm just like, I, I'm very like into like doing this now, so I'm just excited. But is it the one? We I, don't know yet. I don't know. I hope so. Maybe. The, the big turnoff was um, how busy the road was, I think. Mm -hmm. not It's not a deal breaker by any means, but it's kind of just like one of those main things that you can't check off your checklist, you know, quiet neighborhood now. Um, but for us, it doesn't... Like to me, it's not a deal breaker because I don't have kids. I think it would be different if we did. Potential tenants. Yeah. Right? It really limits people who wouldn't want to be on a busy road. I tried to film a little bit <laughs> on the street and it was actually quite distracting. Um, we realized the neighbors of this duplex are very rowdy, like oh, very loud. I could hear them down the street. Um, they might just be tenants though, but still. Yeah. I don't know, like we don't know if they're just renting the house beside, but I could hear them from like 10 houses down. They were like screaming and I don't know if I really want to be living next to that. And that's during COVID. Yeah. Imagine during like regular times. Yeah, COVID, when you're not supposed to be hanging out with other people. And so. then like a full blown, like at least 11, 12 people. Besides the fact we couldn't do much recording um, only because everyone's kind of outside right now. So we didn't get much footage of the actual house. Um, we will probably just post the house in a picture right here or and you guys here. can see it and the thumbnail will also be the house. I think these are things that you have to consider regardless if you're like buying a rental or a house that you're actually going to be living in um, because you definitely don't want rowdy people beside you I think. 
I personally I wouldn't on especially the count. We gotta live out in the county. No, no. But yeah. Well there's obviously a lot of things to consider when investing your money into a property. Um, I feel like it's a big investment so you're allowed to be picky and you shouldn't be rushing into like certain situations. Uh, we do have a bunch of stuff still left to do for the store. As I say there's really never really a day off but that's alright. Uh, we're just going to go pick up some inventory at some wholesale clubs and call it a night. Felicia wants to run the numbers with you guys. Um, this is her baby. This is her investment. Uh, so we're going to let her do that. She seems to be the most passionate out of the two for this one. So the total amount for the duplex itself is 349000 I think we could probably go with putting down 10 to 15% as our down payment and to rent out the f one unit i think we could get about 1300 to maybe 1500 yeah. if we could depending maybe on the market, yeah. yeah depending since it is a three bedroom and it has everything plus a little basement for a laundry room which i think is a good price especially now in this market like it's hard to find anything cheaper than that really so with that rent money that we would be making monthly we would obviously use that to house hack and pay off um, majority of our expenses with living there if not everything um, just depending um, but that should take care of most of it which is obviously how ha house hacking is done and I think that's just the best investment for us right now um that was a great video um uh -huh. um sorry yeah it's all good everyone has their habits I used to say remember you know, you know how it goes, you know, you do, um, I noticed that. I don't know watching. why. I feel so like it's just... A filler to help you think? Yes. Yeah, no, Sorry, guys. No problem, guys. If you watch this far, if you're still with us, thank you so much. Uh, it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And subscribing down below will show you uh, what happens in the future for this one. Regardless, we're going to purchase some piece of property very soon, hopefully this year, if things go our way. And the store will keep expanding um, as much as we can while buying this piece of property. All right. Um, good video there, right? Good video. Uh, good video. Good video. Um. Take care of yourselves. We love you and have a great day. Bye.